Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I'm here in a Polestar 2 and we're gonna drive a bit. Put it into drive. <laughs> and you have to press that OK, always comes. It's always coming. It's annoying, there are a few things that always appear. Locks itself, it's awesome. Okay, this is the performance model. Um, same motor, same battery. All-wheel drive, 150 kilowatt in the front and the back, so 300 kilowatt. Same as the XC40. 78 kilowatt hour battery, 75 are usable. Uh, can charge with 151 kilowatt. AC is 11 kilowatt. But because it's the performance model, it has a bit of a, st a stiffer. Meter, yeah. It's annoying. I'm using a better route planner to get back. I got this car from AHM at a car rental in Freising, uh, uh, close to Munich. <laughs> and they g gave me this car, uh, very nice of them, uh, today, so I can test it out a bit. And, well, let's drive a bit because there's a truck coming. Yeah, have you heard the blinker? Sounds like a record. Skin stuck with a record uh, player. Um, I like the screen, I like the screen in the middle, I like the instrument cluster, I like the steering, it's really amazing. It's, you can have from, from soft, normal to firm, and even in soft, it's very precise, it's, it's, it's not moving all, all over the place, you're really in control, I like it a lot. The same as the suspension, the suspension is a bit harsh, I'm pretty sure the normal Polestar 2 is a bit better. It's very harsh, especially on, on high, high speeds, um, but I'm, I'm sure it's, in, it's better in corners. But when do I drive corners, huh? Um, ooh, it has this view. I hate that view. I don't want that. Can you see the view in the, the, of the map? Ooh, you can see a better route planner in the instrument cluster. Yeah, you have those three views. Just this, so speed and power and a battery status and range, then here assist system, and then here when I put assist system on and I put cruise control on, and then with the button to the right, then pilot assist is on, and then you can see what's it doing there, where is my, there it is, and then you can do the distance here, more distance or less, or the map, that's awesome, I like that. Yeah, it works really nice. Integration here is awesome. The screen is awesome. Uh, we have piano black here and the screen is very glossy. I can see all the fingerprints right now, but the sun is coming from this direction. Um, it has a lot of power, 4.7 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. It feels amazing. I did the top speed. Top speed is 205. I did uh, 210 because it's GPS speed. Um, yeah, I, not not my my thing to drive that fast. <laughs> I have to say, um, um, but it it works. It's fine. Above 160, 70 gets a bit louder, but I think it's it's maybe even a bit quieter than my ID3. Uh, ID3 is a bit more stable at 160, um, but still, it feels amazing. Driving this car is just great. When you do uh, cruise control and you do up and down for speeds, it only goes in five kilometers an hour steps, but you can start it at, let's say, let's say uh, 111. You can do that. It's no problem. I have to get off the highway here. Ooh. Go a bit faster. Yeah. The view outside in the back is not very good. The window is, is, is small and it's a bit higher. You can't see anything. And the backup camera is also not very, very good. Yeah. But driving feel, especially steering, is really amazing. I mean, cornering is also nice. I can't do it right now too fast because I'm scared that the cameras fall off. That I, I'd have one here and one here for the, for the instrument cluster. But of course, power. I mean, look at that. Oh man! <laughs> 408 horsepower. That's just awesome. We have to do an acceleration test, of course, to go in a different view so we can see that. Is there anyone behind me? There is no one. We should do it now. I break down. 
say it like this. Three, two, one, full! Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's right there! There's no uh, lag when you push the button. Woo! And we have to go to 104 because GPS speed 100. Woo! That was awesome! <laughs> yeah, 300 kilowatt is fun. Yeah, now I bring the car back to H A H M, um, the lamp meter car. I want to be there bef uh, at around 3 p.m. Bring the car back and then uh, get my ID3. I drove there and drive home. And we did the whole test. There was the Rokobi test, then a, a bit of a look around around the car. Live stream was fun too. But it's a, it, it, like I said, it's a bit of a harsher ride. I like that the, there's a tiny battery bump under the seat, but it's not too much. The armrests are a bit hard, but not too bad. The, this middle console, yes, it's a bit higher, and you feel uh, a, a bit cramped in here, but it's not too bad. I, I'm okay. You sit a bit lower than like in my ID3, but it's still okay. I'm cool with it. This is still good. Um, I like it. I think we should go on the highway and have a bit of fun driving on the highway because that's just fun. You know me, I like having fun on the highway. <laughs> Drive a bit power and see the noise level at, at not now we are at 100, 105 on the speedometer. Nice noise level in here. We will on the highway we'll see 130 and then then even a bit faster 160 maybe 180 we'll see uh, now on the highway sadly it's a bit raining and wet but we can drive a bit faster let's do 130 or so so you can hear the noise level then but of course again it's raining so that's a bit hard to to do I notice when I hold the steering wheel like I hold the ID3 my, my, my finger here is getting numb. Maybe because I need more power, because it's a stiff, it's not as easy as the ID3. I shouldn't do that in that car. <laughs> it tells me to not steer with one hand. It's right too. Uh, but look at that, I'm driving 140, it's not that wet here. Look at the speedometer and full. 60, 70, 180. 190, 200, or almost 200. <laughs> it gets a bit louder at higher speeds. It's 260. Yeah, I turned the fog light on. I have no idea how I did that. So I had to turn off the light for a second and turn it back on. It's 265, which should be the 160 GPS speed. That's okay. 180. Let's do 185. It's still okay. It's a really good noise level in here. And again, it's very stable. Yes, with bumpy with the bumpy ride, the, the Volvo XC40 was too soft because of an SUV, so we jumped around at higher speeds. But in this, you don't do that. So then steering is awesome. It's a bit, like I said, harder than my ID3. You have to work harder to move, but it's extremely stable. Look at that, at 160, I don't have to hold the steering wheel. Awesome, I like that. Go Polestar, Polestar 2 rules. I like it a lot, I like driving this car. A lot. Let's do a hundred to a bit faster. Regen, of course, I totally forgot. Regen is the same as the Volvo XC40. It's really strong, brings you to a, to a stop, and it feels amazing. Let's do a hundred and full. And the sound of the motors is awesome. Awesome! Feels nice. 
yeah even at 200 200 is not my speed i wouldn't go long for with that speed it's, it's just exhausting you have to look is there a truck going out is a car going out uh, now above I, I don't think above 160 is a comfortable speed to go <laughs> even at 160 on a sunday with no trucks yes but 150 like now i mean i can switch lanes without anything it's reacting very nicely the suspension is amazing for that speed maybe a bit too hard for normal ride like i said but awesome oh. yeah 210 around 210 and it gets a bit unstable at above 202 when there's wind or anything you can feel it moving around and because of of, of, of strong region when you drive fast and you take your foot off really fast region kicks in and the car is moving around the same as the Volvo XC40 when you go fast so 180 190 and uh, you if you want a more stable ride then you have to gradually go off the accelerator pedal um, that's how it is i had that with the model s2 model 3 as well oh but feel that oh yes even a gradually go down car stays perfectly suspension is awesome model 3 in red here on the left <laughs> yeah we did top speed then uh here the weather is so much nicer here i did the test there it was okay too but in the middle the weather was horrible but let's get this Touareg. but i think he's go he's going to dingolfing going with volkswagen cars to bmw oh and the car tells me in google maps that i will arrive with 36 percent I mean it doesn't know that I drive like a maniac I don't know if it thinks about that oh he's driving a bit faster maybe he's doing it for the whole trip I don't know I'm at 60 percent I used 20 percent so far still how many kilometers 72 kilometers should arrive at 243 oh, again even from 150 speeding up oh man yeah that's top speed yeah at top speed going over a bump and when you you're not flying but you feel that you don't have less grip is never nice <laughs> i have no idea how how people in sports cars or even in a model 3 go 260. i have no idea how you do that i, I, I have no idea how you can get control everything is too fast 200 is already too fast i don't need a car that can do 200. i think 180 that's the limit more than 180 i don't have to go um that's all i need what's our stats 286 watt hours average speed 102 but i went so slow on the country road yeah controls are very nice i like that weird is that the play pause button for 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 bluetooth music takes like five seconds till it something is changing when you do next song that's right away but when you go, go on pause it takes uh, let's say three seconds till the music is pausing i don't know the screen is awesome yeah i like this car recommended charging speed was okay and weird is I'm driving a bit faster and I don't get the coolant error now <laughs> but I have to tell them maybe they know uh, yeah and again when I drive with my only with my left hand uh, uh, this part gets numb that's weird <laughs> other than that yeah and the blinking noise Ugh. Ugh. it's just so horrible the blinker noise I would want to drive the normal num performance if the suspension is softer is it still that stable and is it still is it then a bit uh, nicer to drive I would, oh have you heard the blinker it sounds like uh, 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 big raindrops going on 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 glass or like i said record player that's stuck <laughs> yeah but that's it for me 
Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye. I'm in heaven. Polestar rules. 300 kilowatt power. Yeah, that's why I, I, I want the, the Chia EV6. I don't need the top speed of 260. I will never do that. Uh, but the power, power is awesome.